Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a great week. So happy N7 day, guys. Hope you guys are having a brilliant N7 day. Today has been torture for me because I've been working all day and I've been waiting, waiting and waiting for Bioware to finally drop down their latest news trailer video uh, on Mass Effect Andromeda, which is set to come out in spring next year. So it hit literally about five minutes ago. So I just quickly set up my recording studio and we're going to watch the trailer and I'm going to do a first first reaction video and then obviously I'll go back over it and just point out things that I noticed and that kind of thing. I hope you guys are as psyched as I am. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Seriously, uh, let's watch this trailer and see what's going on. All right, guys, let's go. Let's do this. We slept for hundreds of years. <sighs> Dreaming of a new home. But when we finally awoke, <gasps> Our dreams of peace were shattered. Ooh, that's got to be male rider right there. Welcome back. <laughs> it looks so good. You're the new Pathfinder. <gasps> this is incredible. Correct. It's acting like a gravity well. I have a bad feeling. We're the aliens. My God. God. Yeah. Now I know what makes you special. I am the Harbinger. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god, that was amazing. All right, so the first video that we're getting um, then is basically, um, I'm just going to pause it there, is a cinematic trailer. So let's actually try to play it back through again. And I'm going to see if I can pinpoint things. But so much was happening in that trailer. It was absolutely incredible. It looks amazing. I love the the voice actor, um, whoever it is that's voice actor. I wonder if that's Daddy Ryder. His voice is very, very deep. So... I wouldn't think it would be a uh, male rider. I can't see it being baby rider um, at all, but oh my God, it just sounds and looks incredible. So let's break it down again. Right, so this here is the the ship. Now this looks in absolutely incredible. I thought it was going to be like a like the Citadel because uh, it looks a little bit like the Citadel here. Um, but no, it's definitely... It's definitely different, um, for sure. I mean, the Citadel here, obviously, these are wards and places to live, but it looks like it's a bit different. Um, but it looks just, it's huge as well. Like, the ship is so big. We slept it looks for amazing. Of years. All right. Okay, so we basically can see here it's, uh, it looks like these might be the cryogenic pods, possibly. Um, and we can see here that the actual crew, even from the get-go, from the start, are mixed species. So we've got humans and we've got Asari. So that, uh, maybe that sort of destroys the idea I had of them being on different like covenant ships so like an asari ship and a human ship and a krogan ship so it looks like the crew itself is going to be a mix which is really interesting dreaming of a new home hyperion so hyperion's the name of the the big ship but when we finally awoke oh. our dreams of peace were shattered it just looks incredible So we can see here the new N7 seems to have, have gone. Um, we've got like a new ranking, perhaps in the Alliance. So this this A A1 or AI, that could uh, signify an Alliance uh, soldier, possibly. Maybe it's a division within the Alliance. So, 
unit one or something or rank one or something who knows or it could just be a logo Welcome back. now that sounded like an ai voice to me that sounded like like a male ed <laughs> like some kind of artificial intelligence now if that is the case that's really interesting um because obviously the whole idea of mass effect 3 was was this this conflict between sort of synthetics and organics so that's really cool possibly maybe it's an ai maybe it's just just a vi it could just be a vi like in mass effect 1 possibly but i would love it if they had a kind of a an ed style character in the game That thing is fucking huge. Like, this would be so exciting if you explore the worlds. It's a little bit like uh, Witcher 3, wherein if you explore these worlds, uh, you just stumble across these creatures, um, sort of monster hunter style, <laughs> and, um, like, that you just have to fight, and, like, Xenoverse and everything. Oh, my God. Like, it's just... It would be so... Oh, my... I'm so excited. I don't, <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited. I'm so geeking out right now. You're the new Pathfinder. Pathfinder. This is incredible. Now that must be the the enemy, possibly uh, the big bad in this. So he's got some kind of I don't know. He's levitating there. I'm wondering if that is like some kind of innate biotic ability, very similar to sort of the collectors um, when they were taken over by Harbinger. Like now here we can see here our crew. And this is very much definitely all humans. That could be female rider, maybe. Um, and maybe that's female rider or all male rider. It could be either. But given the helmets, um, and then obviously the different different styles of armor because they do look different. And then obviously we've got our Asari here, who I can't wait to find out more about. Oh, well. I have a bad feeling. Ooh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Let's go back. All right. Now, what is that? That looks like some kind of massive ship. Um, it just reminds me a lot. It has like similarities to like what we saw with like when Sovereign was first speaking to Shepard in the first game and through like kind of like a um, hologram type type thing. I wonder if that's the brother and sister together. I wonder if that's both the riders. I think that is both the riders. So that's got to be female rider and male rider. It has to be because they did say in the game that the brother and sister coexist in the galaxy at the same time. So I'm wondering if this is a very, very early cutscene, um, perhaps where we see them, or maybe their their story combines towards the end, so they come back together at the end. Um, maybe, maybe we get that, some kind of reunion, but they look, I mean, look at them. They look like brother and sister. I mean, look at the eyes and everything. Yes, it looks like brother and sister, possibly. <laughs> Now that is definitely an alien. Wait, then that was N7 armor right there. Let's just go back. Wait, hold on. That is N7 armor right there. Now that is the main character that we saw um, in the first teaser trailer. That that N7 armor. So I'm thinking he is. I don't know where this is, but that's the dad. So obviously he must be within the game. Um, and yeah, I'd be so cool. Like if in the game you got to, uh, I know they won't do it because it's Mass Effect and you choose your character and you always play as your character all the way through. But I think it'd be really interesting if you could actually jump into the other characters. So you could actually jump into controlling Daddy Rider and brother and sister rider and be able to experience it through different eyes. Um, that's one of the things I really loved in The Witcher 3 where you got to play as as Siri and you got to like she had unique abilities and obviously a unique outlook and story and you got to see like these separate lines uh being played to see what happened to those characters and then obviously it came together i think that would be really awesome i don't think they will um 
but it's a suggestion by where um, I think it would be really epic to be able to do that maybe that could be a DLC opportunity possibly that might be a good way to expand on the story um, by having a story based DLC where you actually get to control one of the other characters I think that would be really interesting that just right so it looks like some kind of like like control panel like some massive sort of technological uh race i want to see what I'm, I'm just breaking this down i'm stopping every five seconds guys what is this this is a new alien i have not seen these guys before this is definitely a new alien alien species Take cover. Take cover. that is fucking huge that's incredible. Now, is this cinematic? I think this has got to be cinematic. This can't be in-game footage because the disc footage looks amazing. This cannot be in-game footage. But I love the armor. I just, I love it. It's so, like, you can just see it here how it's just, like, every little piece that, it gets, that it's built upon. And oh, it just looks incredible. Looks so good. Salarians, oh, Salarians, it's confirmed guys, there are Salarians on your team, right, so the, we've got a group of Salarians here from the looks of it, so that's our human, that's got to be Ryder, um, these look like two Salarians here, maybe they're part of the, the STG, the uh, Salarian task force, possibly, um, that would be really awesome, it would make sense for them to be on this kind of like voyage, that might be a human character as well, and this has got to be, this has to be some kind of, it's either the Tempest um, swooping in, or it's uh, some kind of like, um, like a docking ship or something, or like a, like a shuttlecraft type, type thing. But that's got to be the Tempest, it's too big not to be. Now I know what makes you. Okay, now this is the alien race. This this is this is the big bad here, guys. And um they sound so sinister. They sound so sinister and creepy. And this is like we're obviously here, we're clearly like like hostage situation kind of thing. We've been captured. And it looks Special. just looks incredible. Available spring 2017. Right, so we we still haven't heard, um, we still haven't heard when the actual release date is. I was really expecting them to, at the end of this video, to actually drop the actual specific date of when Mass Effect Andromeda is releasing. Now, I am concerned that they haven't done that. I wish they had done and Maybe we'll find out before the end of the day. I mean, we still have the whole day in Canada to go. It's only like... 10 30 in Canada or 11 a.m. or something like that so they might reveal more during the course of the day um possibly I'm sure there's going to be lots of things coming out from them screen caps and that kind of thing so I hope we actually will find out the actual release date um for the game I also would like to see these are what this is what I I want to know. This is what I want to see. I want to see gameplay footage. I want to see more gameplay footage. And I want to see some of the combat. I want to be able to see some of the combat and some of the powers that you have available in the game. I would love to see uh, a multiplayer video. I want to see more on the multiplayer. I'd love to see the races that you can play as, the worlds that you're in, the way that multiplayer works, the horde mode, the maps. I'd love to see more about the multiplayer. And I really want to know more about the collector's edition i am definitely going to be buying the collector's edition uh, for mass effect andromeda even though i'm moving house and i'm going to have no money whatsoever i'm going to save i'm going to put like i don't know like 20 like 10 pound a week to one side or something like that and just try to save up um for for this it probably is going to be like 10 pound a month <laughs> as opposed to 10 pound a week but i want to save up for the collector's edition so i really want to know what different collector's issues they have what's in them and what we're going to get with it that's what I want to see. But that's exciting. That trailer was super exciting. We got to see a little bit more of the, uh, some more races like the Salarians. We saw more about the big bad, the, the enemy. And of course, uh, it seems that Andromeda is not a particularly play, 
a peaceful place and that uh, the hum the the force that's going to go out there, the humans and Asari and Salarians, that we're going to be attacked possibly quite early on and it's going to be a, a fight for survival possibly and fighting a world that we can obviously colonize peacefully and obviously dealing with this threat in the Andromeda galaxy so that's going to be quite exciting but anyway what did you guys think of uh, of that video of my reactions uh, my breakdown obviously I'll probably watch this video about five or six more times to try to actually break it down and then I'm going to actually have a think about it and see what I can reveal and then what I'll probably be doing tomorrow or at the end of today guys is I'll be doing an information video about the things that we have learnt today uh, on N7 Day from Bioware about Mass Effect Andromeda and then I'm going to reveal to you guys some of the videos that I'm planning to make between now and and obviously the release of Mass Effect Andromeda in spring 2017. But I hope you guys are as hyped and excited about Mass Effect Andromeda as I am. The more I'm seeing, the more excited I'm getting um, and I cannot wait. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic N7 day. Happy N7 day, guys. Take care. And as always, happy gaming. I should go. Yeah.